Hi, we're Shane and Ronnie from Those Damn Crows. You're watching Ramzan. Hi, it's Natalie here from Ramzan, and I'm with Those Damn Crows. Hi, guys, how's it going? Hi, you all right? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Unfortunately, the weather is sunny as yeah, always in yeah. Wales. I was um, I was told by one of your team that it's exactly the same in South Wales as it is in North Wales driving yeah. up. Yeah, we've been yeah. all the weather with us. Yeah, it's, it's like it's constantly in Wales. Yeah, I know, I should have brought street. wellies. Do you know what? I, I When I was packing for Hard Rock Hell, I, I was sort of like high heeled boots or waterproof. <laughs> I don't have that much room, so I'm going to go with the high heeled boots, and I'm really beginning to regret it now. See, perhaps you should invent. High heeled wellies. waterproof wellies. <laughs> and they do, my mum's got you know, some and it, they're bloody awful. Every interview we've done, we've come up with an idea of a dragon's den. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make a mint and tell you. It's on. It's on. <laughs> so, you guys played Camden Rocks this mm -hmm. year. Yeah. yeah. You've released your new track, uh, Fear of the Broken. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's got picked up by Kerrang! pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah. Um, it's an incredible video. I mean, tell me about the concept. How did you come up with it? Um, it's a tricky one. Basically, it was an idea I had of being locked in this cage, uh, playing to like industry and trying to get hurt. Yeah, that's, that's the whole idea. dark and meaningful, well, isn't it? Yeah, a little, um, but it is difficult, especially these days. You know, it's not like it was back in the day where you could just you know, get a record label and they pay for X amount. And now you've got to do so much yourself. Yeah. They won't, sh they won't shell out that money. So it you've got to kind of do everything you can in your control and power to create something that does yourself. Mm. So the, I don't know, the video was kind of that really, that we're, we're singing our song, want people to hear it, and mm -hmm. based up, uh, bust out of the cube, and our music's here to hear it, so. It's an incredible video, no, it's really, so it's like really I said nice to you earlier, I mean, normally when you hear, you know, bands debut album, you think, filmed in a sports hall, and then you yeah. see yours, and it's like, bloody hell, you know, it's like, it's incredible, no, it really, so really is. Um, I mean, this is your first time playing Hard Rock Hell, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. What do you think of it so far? So far, really cool. Everyone's hungover, so we know it's a good time here. <laughs> like, yeah. um, it's because the press party on the Thursdays. So, uh, uh, you know, that's our right. one day. So yeah. we spend the rest of the time trying to recover and put on smiley faces <laughs> and go, we're not too hungover. You should have come interview. up on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> we were all in fancy dress as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, there was a guy running around like a giant condom, which was just hilarious. <laughs> He's just like wobbling out of the past. As you do. Oh, you missed the board there. <laughs> missed the board. Um, yeah, we're just really excited to play. It's going to be a long day for us because we're not on till quarter eleven tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's Lloyd's birthday, so. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, you haven't yeah. seen nothing yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're going to get everyone to sing happy birthday. Yeah, you think a guy with a condom on is? <laughs> wait, you wait. <laughs> yeah. Have a couple of drinks. Probably us twelve tonight. <laughs> no, it's great. I mean, it's it's nice talking to you guys now. It would have been great to talk to you guys later because I mean, some of our wonderful interviews, everyone's been smashed. <laughs> and they're hilarious. That would have been a different interview. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. yeah. We uh, we interviewed uh, Crowbot yesterday, yeah. and to be honest with you, I, I just uh, we couldn't concentrate on filming because we were just doubled over. Um, it was just. I think it's one of those interviews that you know when people hear about it, and and he knows that he's done the interview that he's going to look back and go, please don't release it, please don't release yeah. it. Yeah. But I mean, random question: your name? How do you come up with it? Do you hate crows? No, no. I, I, I'm partial to a crow, I like a crow. Yeah. We, we had loads of ideas, we were kind of overthinking it, underthinking it, we had loads of ideas on paper, um, we all got studios in the house, so mm -hmm. I was just kind of writing a riff, um, had a melody line, and it was like, oh, those damn crows. Wrote that on the screen, woke up the next day, and just sent it over, and kind of, you know, went on from there, like, everybody kind of liked it. It's very unique. Yeah, I was open, huh? So I was trying not to be kind of, Dark and emo-ish, or I don't know. You sounds like a pissed off old person, though. But I guarantee it? when you went damn crows, yeah, those damn yeah, exactly. crows. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, with a loud band, and I think that's the kind of the twist on it, you know. Yeah. The people that age would go turn it down, you know. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. I mean, I remember the demo being sent over. He's doing, he's doing like a body way to look those damn crows. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. I don't know about the song, but that, that name, I like that name. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you sing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. So, yeah. I'll show you that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, please. I mean, Send us a little post time, it. we'd probably be like, why, why, why did we call ourselves those damn crows? Yeah. <laughs> you wait, there'll be like a um, tribute band calling, calling themselves like the fucking pigeons or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
We were gonna do a, a secret. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna do a secret gig, weren't we? So nobody would know where we are. And name ourselves the Pesky Pigeons or something. Yeah, yeah. something like that. It's like your side project. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if the crows don't go well, yeah. That's back up. <laughs> fucking pigeons. <laughs> That's the way it's gonna go. Metal pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean. So what have you guys got coming up? There's certain things that we can and can't talk about. So what's in the pipeline that we can? <laughs> um, album is done. It's yep. mixed mastered, ready to go. We're just waiting on a release date. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully early next year, but obviously the PR and stuff have got to come up. So we, we haven't got a date on that yet. Yeah. Um, you want to talk about shows and stuff? Um, shows, hopefully we might creep one in before Christmas. But yeah. 216, we're hoping to kind of... Really hit Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously festivals, that's going to be the big one for us this Have year. Have you got any festivals already lined up? Oh, Are you allowed to talk about? Nothing, yeah. Is there anyone off camera going... No, yeah. no, you don't know anything. No, we've been taught well that, you know, you can't... <laughs> like, when we got booked for this, we were over the moon and we were like, oh... And it's so dangerous these days. If someone gets excited and tells their friends and then they put up and getting tickets for Hard Rock Hell. Yeah, um, like, so no longer a friend. Same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we're at that stage of a band where you don't piss everybody off, so we got to be nice and kind of go, yeah, just... <laughs> we are nice. Yeah, just you please, seem like, please You seem like us. a good laugh. Yeah, just book us. We'll play anywhere, to be honest. So. <laughs> 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 you know, we'll play anywhere. Local pub for three hours. Yeah. Just I mean, how, how do you find that? I mean, as a, as a breaking band, I mean, I know that um, I've worked with different bands in the past, and it's very, very difficult because of being able to self-release anyway. It could be fantastic. Mm. But also, it means the market's saturated, isn't it? So it's... It's really hard to initially sort of break through. What what tips would you give um, any sort of new bands because you're sort of just on that cusp, aren't you now, um, to sort of get? Just don't change. It's what I've learned from past bands. What Shane's probably learned. What the boys have learned. Um, just don't change. Be happy with who you are. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you get on with each other because you're going to spend a lot of it's time. It's a marriage, with each isn't other. it? It is, honestly, and. Um, We've all been in bands throughout the years, in different bands, uh, and that's a big thing. You've got mm -hmm. to be honest with each other, no, no sniping behind backs. You yeah. know, the moment that you start splitting off into teams, it mm -hmm. doesn't become a band anymore. It becomes well, more of like solo projects and. We well, hear a lot of the majors bullshit. that sort of like reunite, but you know that like the back, the behind the scenes stories is they fucking hate each other. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's, it's sad. Yeah. It's sad, well, isn't we've it? We've heard the same, but. Honestly, and I can only say it year to year, we'll see it in the van to each other. We're our biggest critics. We come yeah. off from shows, we slag each other off. Uh, no matter who <laughs> wants to hear it, if I play too fast, if someone goes out of key. But we address it, we're honest, not yeah, like... Yeah, I throw oh, things mid-set. Yeah, you know, we, <laughs> we crack on with what it. Was the the key, what was you saying? What? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what you saying. The boys are on about it the other day, didn't they tell Um But yeah, it's, that, it's just that honesty. We, we we all know where we are now. We, yeah. we know who we are. We know the music we love. Um, if people don't like it, it's not there. They don't have to buy it. It's yeah. simple. If they love the music, they, they love what we're going to start doing with videos. Because it is the future. I mean, you've got to keep people gripped. So yeah. I think that's going to be our niche. Well, like you set videos. the bar with your first video. You We've really said did. The other day. You can't yeah. really go back to a, a community <laughs> You can't go back to a hall. Like in, in the corner, <laughs> can it? Like, you know? But there's bouncy castles. You know, that would be always, amazing. Wow. You know, bouncy castle shampoo. Shampoo on a bounty castle. And we'll get George oh, Michael. Carnage. Get George Michael <laughs> in the video. George Michael. We'll have to see if he's available. He'll <laughs> uh, probably clear his schedule, don't worry. Yeah. Bunch of guys on a bouncy castle, he'll be there. But yeah, <laughs> it's just keeping it exciting, you know, so it doesn't become stale. Um, and it's so easy to say that at our level because all the bands go, sort of really excited. It's a roller coaster. Mm. It is. And it but is you a seem to have like, like your head screwed on. Yeah, because it can it can be taken away from you in like that. Like you know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we don't get. We can put the record out. We can put a video out. But then you guys got to review it. You guys got to make sure you like it. Then the fans got to turn up to the gigs. Yeah. Um, and then the you know the guys who fund it then if we want to take it to a bigger scale like we could put the album out tomorrow ourselves but we know it will only get so far. Well, I think you're also an advantage because I'm I'm not going to go into any details. What I'm going to say is that um, there's a couple of you in the band that have people that know people that are quite yeah yeah, yeah progressed yeah, we, in the industry that you probably have to give you advice as well. Yeah yeah. And so that that's that. probably really yeah, beneficial. Yeah, with that advice, we, that's why we've held back on the album. Um, we, we, Spot on. At the end of the day, we've, 
we've done everything we can and, and because of that we're in control a little bit yeah um, but when those people do come along and say something you have to listen yeah so it's a little bit frustrating because we're like come on let's listen but we want to do it now and it's like now. no yeah. that's not how it works like, exactly well so, the initial was we were all writing in each other's houses um then we got into a jam room put it all together it was working recorded the album yeah and then we're like, right, we'll put it all out, we'll do this, we'll do this campaign. And, and then the right people who were involved kind of mm-hmm. go, no, actually, have you heard your record? And we're like, yeah, we, we wrote it, you know, <laughs> Noah, we think it could be better and we can yeah. we can put it out there and you've yeah. got to take that advice. There's like, a lot of know? bands that you tend to find that think they're ready for PR before they are. You mm. know, like, do you have your booking agents and everything in place? Do you have, like, your managers? You know? So they're just like, we've written a track and it's amazing because we think it's amazing and it's quite hard because it's a part of you. You're giving a part of yourself to every piece of music that you compose. So for someone to go, not quite there yet. I know it must be, like, difficult, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah. since we were 16, we always used to go to London, didn't we? It was literally just go to London. 16, we were hiring buses taking family, friends, filling venues for promoters. Really? Yeah, honest to God, I've still got all the old tickets and stuff in the house. Um, So we always knew London. I was drinking under a bridge, hoping my mum would never find out. Oh, we were drinking. Oh, we were drinking. (laughs) That's why we had to have the bus. (laughs) Just went under a bridge. Um, But it's the whole, like, we were were very do-it-ourselves then. Mm -hmm. Um, And then as things, you know, kind of grew and blah, 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 we've just realised now that it does take more. We have to stand back. You know, it is our baby at the end of the day. We've got our views of what the record is. Yeah. other people it, it takes time and to yeah. do it right that's the main thing like well, you said you amazing, loved the video yeah. um, that was a good thought it was all you know but we had problems there didn't we because he, he wanted to put other things in the video but it's the time scale yeah um, but we're still really really happy with the outcome like, yeah, you know? yeah. So it's like I said I mean the video itself like just looking at it it kind of reminds me of like the really kind of very early Lincoln Park sort of style videos mm. so as soon as they saw it I was like oh I'm gonna like this and I listened I was like I really like this oh, it's brilliant yeah brilliant. Well, it, it didn't just grip people that we know in bands and stuff there was people in management and that and I think they thought the same as you they thought oh yeah you know they're gonna just give us a video <laughs> now <wouldn't laughs> they'll be playing yeah. in a sports hall <laughs> but literally as soon as the video went uh, phones started going off five minutes later which mm-hmm. was like holy shit just seen your video really 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 love it you know well, like would I like said, to... it's just you've you've gone out there and you, you know by taking that time to have everything in place mm. you haven't just gone out and got a hi we're a new band you've gone whack exactly. this is who we are exactly you know? YouTube and, and Facebook and social media now is, is like a massive platform we're in a, we're in a new band as far as this the members in the band but we've been around the block so mm-hmm. we know what it takes and to come in and do it we could have easily done a song like that and, and paid nothing so the budget ways but every it's first song, impressions, exactly, isn't it? Of you? Every song is supposed to smack him in the face. It's supposed to make mm-hmm. it go, why do I want to carry on watching this? Because yeah. nine times out of ten, if you don't like the song, you ain't going to watch the video. Your first so, impressions come across very, very professional and a solid unit. Uh, so. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So. <laughs>